All right. Live, we got picture and no head in my voice. Or voice in my head. Eh, whatever. All right, so do we want to do the basement first? I don't know. Welcome in. Smash. Oh, I better make sure I don't have... Not hide HUD. Okay, I got music on. Okay, good. Now, what do we want to do in here? So that comes down like this. I could have it run along this, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that. Welcome in. I gotta do something with it. I just don't know what yet. I gotta get all my blocks. Oh, yep, I have that. Okay, good. Let's go get all the... Did I put them here, or did I put them in my other thing? Nope, they're up here. There we go. We got blocks. That. We're using a little bit of that, and that, and that. These just in case. We're not using that right now, nor those. That's some extra. All right, so let's get fences, fancier fences, tall fancy fences, iron grates, and then we'll move to prison stuff, crypt door, then prison stuff. All right, that gives us some stuff to work with. I think, too, I want to raise this up one level. That's a lot of crap to move, man. It's a lot of stuff to move just to raise that up one level. But I think I want to do it to give it more prominence. I also think I want to build those cool red arches up here that we built in here. Right, I need the smaller, I need the medium size. Let's go get a medium size. I posted new file saves today. Reduped everything. It's all full again. So we have everything of everything. Uh, this one. Let's grab two just to see what it's like. We'll definitely need some in the uh, bedroom. Pardon me. Okay. Gonna need a lot of furniture in the bedroom. Some end tables, I'm sure. I don't know what else yet. All right, let's get the bookcase. So that people waiting for the king have something to read. I kind of want to move that chair and put... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so instead of this chair, let's do, yeah, yep, I like that, much better. All right, so we'll have some books in there, we'll have some books in here, so they can uh, bide their time. I can already hear the bees again, they're back. <laughs> 
Uh, relentless, those bees. Alright, so we got that, we got that, that works. Probably would have some in here, too. Like on the... On the back, behind the... Behind the peoples? Whoa, 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 what's going on with that? Come on now. How about I have it either side of this column? That might look nice. Well, it, hmm, literally either side of the column? That could be cool. Ooh, ooh. That gets in a little twitchy right there, doesn't it? Okay, so how about we eclipse it just a hair? Like that. Let's do this one again. <laughs> Skateboarding. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, let's try this again. So we're going to eclipse it till it comes out. There we go. And then go back. Go back out. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, yep, that gives us a little bit more interest to that wall. I like it a little better. I had another one of those with me. Alright, so we got that. He might, the king might have a, uh, his own, like, personal one back here. And he'd have his own stuff for recording data oh you can still get through there nice all right what else definitely have some more furniture in here I don't know where all this stuff's going to go. We'll figure something out. Probably want some tables in here. How would these look on either side of this? Probably alright if I w went like halfway into the wall. Assuming that's where I want the bed. Not really sure on that. See what else? All this is free use stuff because I have lots of it, so might as well use some. Do they figure out how to get inside? They're trying. All right, I gotta go deal with them. They're just gonna bug us until we kill them. Haha, <laughs> bug us. And it didn't really mean it to be that way, but it turned out that way, didn't it? Menace to society, those things are. Uh, that was too far. <laughs> Jump back up in this thing. Don't want any tomb stuff. Oh, they might have things to be displayed in there. In their boudoir. Uh, they definitely probably have some cat, some uh, sideboards and stuff. That's prison fence. Let's fill that back up. And they definitely would have. 
pictures. Okay, what else might they have in there? I mean, they'll definitely have fancy stuff. These doors, I think I want to use them for the inside, at least on this side. Yeah, there's another table. Let's put these back in my bag so I have them. Probably some fancy. Get some fancy going. Yep, they're definitely going to have little knickknacks, but uh, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, i got to set it all up first. I'll worry about that all later. Some of those probably. Let's have that in our bag for when we find a spot for it. Alright. I don't think I have anything else in these. Nope. Welcome in. Ooh. That could be interesting. Go one... I don't know how that worked, though, with the door. If I went one back. Alright, so we get this. Let's check out some doors. Alright, so we got that door there. This one feels to me like it should open this way. What's up, Jasper? So I may or may not have done some things off chat that progressed the stuff we've been doing. I will uh, show you here in a moment. Let's see, we would open probably that way. I was doing some fishing, not literally, fishing to see, so I, I went and I got our little bookshelves so we could fill those up and have uh, proper waiting space in here. I, I This I did on stream this uh, since I've been on. I've been on about 15 minutes. Put some around that column. I think that makes that wall a little nicer. I think I'll put the smaller ones over here on that side of the column. And I think I want to do the the red kind of... that kind of treatment. I think I want to do it to these two walls instead of these big grates. I think it'll look better. But that's not what I did. Uh, I posted all the uh, save files today, in fact. Let me link that here. So those are the save files. Uh, it just needs a free Patreon membership. You don't have to... There's no paywall. I did that. So I was, I was fishing to see where this went. Because my idea was to link the... Uh, the undergrounds it didn't really work so well it just kept going and going and going and I'm like where the hell is it I kept kept going up trying to figure it out went up over there trying to figure it out and I couldn't quite get it until I found that and I'll show you the other direction so I haven't figured out exactly how I want to do it yet uh, but now they're linked but the the whole file everything fully duped uh, I've got everything fixed. I've got all of these over in the the underground, in the basement, materials basement. I went out and duped every single thing. All the armor boxes are now full. Eight uh, sets of armor for each type. Everything's complete. Took me a long time to get all that done. Oh, I lied. I forgot to redupe those. Oopsie. But I did all those, so I brought in... 
Where the hell is the light coming from? That tiniest little sliver right there. Okay. I put all these over here. Uh, right now, they're doubled, so they're still in their original spot because I know somebody's going to get confused. But they're also over here. And then we have some more growth space, so you can see by visual cue what it is. And then over here, all of these are now full. So I went and I did the whole round. All Man, that took forever. But then I did this. So now we have something... I can't go much further up. I, uh, I can only go... Right there, that ceiling is the floor that the collector's standing on right now. I'm sorry, no, that ce that floor is that room that has the the plants and stuff. So that's what these come down from. And so I can't go any higher, but I could go that high at least. I just haven't quite figured out how I want to do this yet. It's uh, it, it's quite the conundrum how I want to do it. I gotta be real careful with this because I don't want to accidentally chunk out some of the work I did up there because I've got some stuff very cleverly in the rock face like all twisted and stuff and it looks really cool and I don't want to mess that up. So I gotta be careful not to go up too far. But yeah, I can go up this high, and I'm thinking I could just put a level that comes right at the top of this, and alongside, because this comes down like this, and I'm going that direction, so it could work. Like, like utilize this stuff as an obstacle in some way. I could even have it, like, with uh, some of the barriers, some of the broken ones, like, put around it like it's a construction zone. Like, oh no, these things fell through the floor watch your step people or I don't know whatever something like that let's see if I can get up there I did okay good so if I did a floor from here how would this work wrong side this one and we'll do that floor come on I could even go down further than that because the uh, the top of those is down a little bit further. Up one. The issue is the ceiling. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. So the biggest problem is going to be this ceiling. Let's start with that, since that is going to be our issue. Nope. <laughs> put this for right now so I have a way to get up and down. Alright. Okay, so if that's the ceiling, I definitely have to come down further. But that's okay. I don't mind changing the... Changing the height here. We could do a little transition room here. Maybe even that sidesteps it just a bit. Just enough. But I, I definitely want to make that a feature. Okay. Now, the question is... Should we do it right at the top? Or should we come down just a hair? I think right at the top. Or should we come up one? I don't know. Let's try right at the top for now. 
At least that lets us walk on it. This could be like, uh, I don't know, like a, like a failed construction project this way, right? And all we have to do is get around it. Oh, are these going to be higher? They are, aren't they? Jerk. Okay. Alright, so we have to go up one anyway because those are higher. Alright, well I guess that's not that big of a deal. It'll get it. For right now, let's just have some light in here. So, of course, we have to come down at some point also. Pretty much no further than here. This is the lowered bit right in front of the doors. That extra bit that I brought it down some. This is definitely high enough, I feel like. So, if we come like this, maybe go around and we make this look like it's some kind of a like an excavation site that got messed up or something and we put the little barriers around it and we have like I use the stone to put some stuff coming out of the wall uh, maybe have some individual rocks come down like this was a, a rock slide and these chains are having to hold things together just make it look interesting because all it is is a bypass it's just a bypass to allow the whole underground to be connected. The basement, the armory, and the hollow halls. I kind of like that idea. Gives it a story, gives it something interesting. And a story that I don't have to tell because it'll all be visual. So I think we're going to have to come down. I think we need to shuffle the whole damn thing over. Oh, that could even be something too. We could have... Yeah, we. so we could have like... Um, I don't know whereabouts in the world you live, but in certain like mountainous areas, you'll have a road, and sometimes the road gets washed out, and they make a temporary road that's kind of all jank, and it's kind of circles around it. We could even do that. Have it like partially in the stone and we have the what are they called scaffolding kind of holding it up and yeah that could look cool we could even have scaffolding in here look like it's holding up stuff like, like it's just a total some collapse happened here and we've got to keep everybody away from it I like that I like it it, it gives you gives you something uh, to be interested about okay so then if we're gonna do that let's do so we'd still have... Okay, so where's the... Why is it snap-on? So I need to be about this low. Which is more than enough in height. Now, I need some light down here so I can see what the hell I'm doing but not so much that it makes it too visible from up here man this thing was a 
pain in the ass to get set like that. And it's still not even perfect, but this... Um, can I do it? Oh, I don't, have my, I don't have my bow on me. That little chunk of stone sticking out, because it's the, the lintel, you know? Uh, I can't go back any further. There is a stone bench up in the wall. Set just right. It took me like five tries or ten tries or something to get it just right to where there wasn't any... There was just enough sticking back that you couldn't uh, see this very well, but also enough sticking forward that uh, you don't see that lintel sticking through, which wouldn't have been obvious. And then I put this light here to kind of distract you from it. So you don't know that it's here, even though it's here. And yeah, kind of a kind of a neat little play on uh, on the whole situation of, of secrecy. I, I like having secret entrances and secret doors and stuff. It's fun. Whoops, I almost fell through. Alright, let's get all this. Would you stop moving every time I try to go over there? I just want a nice clean wall, bro. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Because it's too... I want to come up some right here. About like that. And then we need to bring this down. So we got to go. That's fine. So then we could. Should I use that the whole time or just bring it down? Just go ahead and transition. I could do the transition like I normally do where I use the this guy and I use this block. Oh, I need to grab my lights first. Um, let's put some lights somewhere else. Well, here. I'm not going to change these. So let's put it right. Oh, if I do that, I won't be able to grab the damn thing. I need to mess with that wall too. Screw it. Let's put them there for now. Alright. There we go. And your turn. Maybe. Kinda. There we go. So, my normal trick is to use these as a transition. I think it looks nice and gives it some weight to it. I go that higher, go one higher, one higher, didn't I? Actually, I don't think it matters because it's in the it's in the stone above. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So then we need to do one of those. Yeah, that's not going to work. Do one of these. So then, do I want to vault it like I did this? Because I kind of like the vault look. could always put another light so I don't have to do as many of these guys. And I can also widen it right here. Like it was going that way originally and then they had to uh, mess it up because of the landslide thing that we're making up. So then I want to come one back, which means I can go ahead and leave those there. Alright, so then I need to do this, and come one more.
All right. So that gives us a step back, which means then this. Well, what am I doing? This is going to change to. Hmm. I kind of think it looks weird if it does that. It makes more sense to do it this way. There we go. So one on either side. We transition up to here. And then we come in and bam! Oh, look at all this stuff. So let's put another one of those up here. Mm, let's see. So I can go up. I should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to do this. I should have enough space to come out flat. Yeah, that's what I figured was happening. And that's literally as high as I can go because that is the floor. All right, well, now I know how high I can go. Which is fine, because I'll be just a little bit below that. Okay, so we'd come up, come down through there. And then we need our ceiling there. So we are going to go ahead and switch to... This guy. And nope, that's correct. Except I'm not high enough to reach that. Nope, I'm not. Alright, so let's just do kind of a little jobby like that. And of course, now I'm too far this way, so I can't reach it. Alright. Come out flat. Yeah, I might bring, I think I'm going to bring this down one right here, just as a little transition between the two, even though it's still the same thing, but just a little bit of a transition. All right, I need some more light while I build. All right, back to this and back to that. Yeah, well, that should be fine. So then it's right to about there. I'll do the feature there. It'll be a smaller feature, but it'll still be a feature. Alright, while I'm up here, I might as well do the wall. So let's get back to the wall section. Flippity flippity. Nope, I want it right there. Correct, sir. And then one back right there. Okay. Now well, let's just move this fire. Alright, so now this side, same jobby, but one back right there. Okay. Cannot see what I'm doing. Oh, 
Oh, not too far. Right there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Roof actually needs to go one more. There. And that just needs to be chunked a little bit so that I can go into it a little bit. That works for me. Yeah, let's do this. That's fine. How the hell did I miss? How am I still missing? What is going on? <laughs> I don't know how I kept missing. I don't know how I kept putting it down there. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you're going to be a jerk, aren't you? What's up with this? Why are you being like that? Come on. Of course. I just moved it. Alright, let's try... that. <laughs> hate you. Uh, let me look. Oh, I need to learn how buttons work. Steam. 411. And pr if, if if I'm being honest, probably a hundred of that is just this public resource world. If, if I'm going to be honest. All right, let's get rid of this. There we go. All right, so that opens it up a little bit. And then we'll come... Like, we were coming this way. Oh, no, we're going to go this way. And we'll come into the rock face a little bit. Have some uh, fun stuff. It's going to be... It, it'll be cool. I, I think it'll be cool. It'll be cool in my head. I don't know if it'll be cool in reality, but it's cool in my head. <laughs> uh, those going to work if I put this here? Helps if I go all the way. Stop there for now. That was never meant to be there anyway, so go away. Alright, so we have that. I think that's the right height. So I don't want to go anymore. Now I want to put this... Uh, feature wall up here. I need to see... I need to get up just a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing. No, no. This one. No, no. Snap to this one. Come on, jerk. Snap to it. Ah, boo-hoo. It doesn't want to snap. All right, I need to see in here. How far back that is. One back. Okay. Screw it, let's just do it while we're up here. All right, so that's two back. No. Nope. All right, I think two back will give us a nice really. 
Thank you. Maybe. I think it's still messed up a little bit right here. There it is. I got it fixed. Okay. So. There needs a little bit of love. Wait a minute. Yep. I need one block in up also. Get up there. I saw you up there. There it is. I can't see what I'm doing. When I was doing the uh, resource world pretty much the whole day, I think it literally took me the whole day today, uh, I was watching different movies and the last thing I was watching when I was finishing it up was Blade Runner 2049. I don't know how more people didn't enjoy that movie because I think it's amazing. Maybe it's just people that just don't like Ridley Scott. But I don't know. I mean, he did the first Blade Runner and it, you know, at first it wasn't all that popular and then it just got this amazing cult status. Oh, did I fucking fix it? There's still something off over here. There. Oh, I saw it. Get it. Oh, well, let me put it. Screw it. It's gonna be covered anyway. I just. I think it's a. It's a fantastic movie. I love the acting from um, Ryan Gosling. He just. I. I think he just did an absolutely spectacular job. Okay. So I need the outside needs to be this. And who, whoever played uh, Love, the Wallace's, I don't know what you would call it, pet robot, pet, uh, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's fair to call her a robot, but uh, whoever played that uh, lady, man, she did an amazing job. Diabolical. Does that put it where I want it? Yes, it does. Okay. That's fine. I think three could work fine. All right, now we need red. No, we need no, no, no. Uh, I'm backwards. We need this material. If we're doing it the same. So, change back to this. Right now. Actually, we'll take that back. We'll swap to this. See if we can two birds, one stone it. a really hard angle. doesn't have the top portion, but, I mean, quite frankly, I could make the top portion by just doing this. Now 
All right. We'll make it do. All right, so we're that. So we come in. I need a little bit more wall section. Technically need a little bit more road section. All right, so we'd have that. And then... Let's have it sit back just a little bit. So we've got some uh, maybe cave-in looking stuff. I can't touch the... Oh shit, I better... I've been tossing stuff up. I better go up and check to make sure I didn't mess up the uh, room up there. Walls all sticking up and I don't realize it until it's too late. I don't see anything. I think we're alright. Alright. Looks alright to me, and we will uh, continue. So we can even come back out of this, like, hastily created thing. Let's see. We could even do a little bit of this. And I know a bomb would be faster, but if I accidentally hit the roof, it's going to screw that whole thing up. There it is. And then we'd have like... Do I have any... St yeah, I have stone on me. So we'd have like... Uh, let's see if we can do that here. Let's uh, let's go down to this. Let's do one of these guys. Like a big old chunker, right? Uh, let's move this light. Nina asks, did they say when the updates go? So, they have not said, however, they just... Man, they're teasing the hell out of us. Um, I, 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 don't get me wrong, I love some of the teases. That dog, pet the dog tease, man. I was like, oh, mama, I would, Fido. Um, okay, so here's what most of us think, and it's kind of backed up by something Cub has said. Uh, it's cool username, bro, if you don't know, in the Discord. And the earliest probably, again, we don't know for sure, is going to be the 21st of this month. The contest ends on the 18th, the Halloween contest. Don't forget to submit your contest. Uh, they said that even, they're going to pick five at random. So even if you think yours is bad, make sure you submit it. Uh, you get you get a chance to have your name permanent on a uh, gravestone somewhere in the game. So that's cool. It's Keen likes to do enshrouded um Updates on Mondays. So, Monday is the 21st. It seems kind of logical, as all these hints and stuff they've been dropping, to me, it sounds like they're actually pretty advanced on it. Yeah, a big old boulder came down and broke through it. Yeah, that's sweet. I love that. That's, I love it, I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we gotta have some more spots where it broke through, because that's cool. Um... Honestly, it could be into November. It's it's pretty hard. To, oh man, we're all excited. That wh that's what I'm doing with this. I don't know how much if you've used the public resource world before, but that's why I'm doing all of this to prepare it. I built this whole damn thing just for update four to get all these in here so that all the armor has its own spot. Everything's its own 
set now and it shows exactly what they are plus plenty of new stuff so that we can just expand and expand I built this thing all out brought the flowers over here finally I don't know why I forgot to bring them over but uh, and then of course the square if you haven't seen that got a complete remodel so I just about doubled the amount of boxes in the square and it can still have more if we needed to so it's it's a lot a lot plus it's a bit wider so there were a few people that uh, didn't like how much space the hollow hall took up upstairs because um, this used to be wide open and so I did all that and yeah that's still a lot of work took me probably 30 40 hours to get uh, to get this whole thing renovated F this time after the last one, back to the shroud, I spent probably 20 something hours on it getting it renovated. Oh, you know what I should do? Should I? Should I do columns? I don't think it's that necessary. Yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to Okay, so the animal husbandry kind of stuff, that's cool. But I'm not like, oh, God, I mean, I'm going to do it, but I'm not, that's not my big thing. My big thing is the townsfolk. Now, we don't know exactly what that means. We do know that the NPCs are going to be able to move a little bit, but the townsfolk as flavor NPCs just kind of chilling in your town, that's what really has got me excited. Grab a resource uh, world a month ago or so, so we can update this when they update. Oh, 100%. Uh, so all of this I'm doing is just the prep for Update 4. Once Update 4 has come out, now I have been clear and so has uh, Shade for Fort Resources. Uh, Wolfic hasn't said too much on his. We're the three that are active right now. It'll probably take us a week after the update comes out. Uh, Back to the Shroud took us three days. And that was all... The three of us working non-stop, I mean, I probably spent 45 hours... In those three days, I was doing 10, 13 hour days, uh, pushing to get everything as fast as we could. Uh, the hard part was the, is that back to the shroud that had the, the, uh, like ammonite and all that stuff, all, all the little, uh, fossils that we had to go get, or was that, maybe that one was, um, Meyer. Well, anyways, doesn't matter. This one's going to be longer. We've got 10 levels to grind out. A whole ass new biome to find all the stuff and secrets for. We already know there is a minimum of two new blocks. There's a block that looks like kind of like black marble, I guess is the best way to say it. There is a block that looks like slate tiles for roof. We know for a fact that those are coming. Yeah, it's actually been told to us and they're already in the game, uh, in game files. We know steel is coming, so there, and we've seen a picture somebody provided of a steel greatsword, steel arrows, steel poison arrows. But you know there's going to be like, well, I hope, uh, steel pickaxe, steel regular axe, I hope. Maybe, maybe we'll get a new rake finally. I don't know why it, the rake works fine. I don't see that, but. I don't know, maybe we'll get some kind of a new torch or something, but we'll probably get several craftable steel, like not the best best, but something. And then you got to think, we've got all these new sets of gear that's level 35 now, when this comes out. So that's why I added so many extra mannequins. There's 66, I think, mannequins in this place. So all these are empty for a reason, and it's going to go by the newest stuff, down to the lowest level stuff and I still might have to add more especially with melee you can tell how much they love melee because there's only one left whereas uh, Ranger there's five left these all they're all the same they all have 16 and there's four left for mage one left for uh, warrior and five left for Ranger so Ranger and, and mage will need some love in the uh, armor sets I don't even know how many there's going to be new. What we're hoping to... Uh, we've had a discussion on, on Discord. We're hoping we eventually get to upgrade armor. Like we can upgrade weapons now. You know, weapons, you can do all these 
7 attack, sacred, 7 eye, sacred, mana leech, by at going to one of your um, crafters and you get what, like 5 levels? Yeah, 5 levels. It'd be cool if we could do that with armor too at some point. It could even be the same system. I don't think anybody really cares how it's done. I just want the ability to do it. So if there is some cool gear like uh, H, no, N, you know, like the Elder or the Radiant stuff, uh, I just have mine mogged so it looks nicer. But I kind of like some of the stuff. And what are these new bonuses going to be, you know? So there, it leaves a lot open that we don't know yet. And it, it could be really cool. I don't think it's going to be a disappointment by any stretch. I don't think any of them has been too much of a disappointment. I don't think everybody loved the Meyer one that much. And I think they felt like Back to the Shroud was a little lacking in content. But I liked them. I thought it was I mean, more. I'm one of those people that more is more to me. You know, just give me more stuff. I like stuff. Just give me more more of it. And then I'm happy. That's that's pretty much my, my concept on it. Okay, so let's... So if we come up, we got to have some kind of like a temporary... And I want it to be jank. Ooh, I should have like... Like, like they're going around a stone pillar even. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Yeah, that's not going to let me go back far enough. Um, let's do... Let me do this. Let's chunk this out a little bit more. Get a little bit back. We'd even have it come over a little bit. Like it broke into it some. And then we'll go around this. Is there a little, a little construction through yeah, a temporary passway because something got busted over here? Alright, so it'll be something like that, and let's see. Maybe maybe that'll even be wood. Let's first finish out, make our floor look a little nicer. Got the right stuff. Make it so it's even. No, what am I what am I missing? There. And then we'll even it out to that too. No, no, no. No, you jerk. Okay, so now... Let's break some more of it out. New base location in the snow, 100%. Now, here's the question. We already know that the flamethrower will melt the snow the snow come back because there this is going to be iteration one of the weather system they already said it's the the beginning like their test weather system um and if it does how does it come how does it accumulate will it accumulate on the stuff you've built when you build stuff is it already present is it part of like you know if, if i build up against this it just merges together with the voxels just like what voxels do is it going to be like that that, those are all things that will be really interesting to find out. Um, let's do... Nope. One. Damn it. And buttons for some reason. And then let's say that one crashed all the way down through like that. Just straight down through the floor. And then we got to make it look like it's coming down out of stuff. But I can't go through the ceiling, so i got to be careful. I wish we had a littler one. 
I mean, I know we have this, but it doesn't really... Kind of works. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hyped on uh, doing some mountain stuff. Uh, we could have it... Oh, you know what I should do? Chunk out a little bit as if it came out through this. Like it came... Th uh oh, that's... Okay, let's not do that. That part there is going to be his secret space, I think. His little secret lair. I'll leave that alone, I guess. Okay, and then we need to have one that blocks this over here. That just totally is like, nah, you shall not pass. Big ol' Big ol' chunky boulder came down and just wrecked the place. Maybe something like that. <laughs> and then we'll get the uh, stuff to go around. Alright, now I need to fix this ceiling so it's equal to... Da -da -da -da. We got more wall to build as well. Alright, so we want to go to the same spot. Got that. Floor is set. Ceiling needs some love. Just gotta be careful. I kind of like all that stuff right there. It looks like it's busted ceiling. Alright, what do we do here? Get that out of my way. We'll just leave all that. Uh, da, da, da. Let's chunk a little bit more. Whoa! Hi! That was a fall. <laughs> we'll come through all this. We'll get back. We'll have, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, we would normally have grand stairs that come up that, and the stairs even got broken, and then that piece of is sitting down through a hole in the stairs. Hell yes. Like it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I need a floor, too. Let's get the floor going first. Alright, so we go there. Slow down about there. Okay. So that's there. Now let's uh, look at what we want for this. So it came up like this, but we got a big rock through it. So let's put a big rock through it. It'll be curious to see, so I've taken a picture, um, I don't know if you've ever been on Fort Resources, which is Shade's public resource world. He's got a, ah, dang it. I wish we could hit Y and 
Oh shit, we can. So did I just hit it one more time? Nope. Do it all over again. You suck. <laughs> oh well. Hey! So now we got a really messed up that, and you got a big rock that came down through the middle. Nice. Make that a little bit better. Several rock pieces just around. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want that. I don't want you connected. You're a little too close there, buddy. Yeah, I mean, that to me, that looks like there was a, a calamity landslide type of thingy right there. So definitely, I think they would put in a uh, torch makes sense all right so then let's okay so we come this way smooth that out just a little bit over here so that got messed up so we gotta have some way I mean we can but maybe Let's go look at getting... Oh, wait. It's right in here. What am I doing? Actually, no. Let's go up top and let's look at getting some scaffolding, getting some, like, wood pieces that we can use. I, that's another thing I want. So, like, just a board. Just, just let me put down random boards of different types so I can make... Like, like a board that would run from this piece to that piece and just sits on there or sits on it at, a, at an angle or something. I want to be able to do stuff like that. Why did I open an empty? Because reasons. Okay. If I sink this down in the ground, that could look good for a support, maybe. But it's so tall, it might be a problem. But we'll find out. Uh, let's just take all of these and we'll see what we can do with them. Put some boxes out around there. Let's see. Which fences would we put? I'm thinking we wouldn't have fancy fences, but maybe. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, Caniosaurus Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Might have, oh, yeah. Definitely want some of this stuff to block off the danger. We could use Palisades to actually hold the wall up. And try some of that. Hold, you know, the imaginary wall that's not really falling down that we make it look like it is. All right, let's try that for now. See what we think. Uh, I did not grab anything that was wood-like. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We could do like a shelf as a piece of wood that's coming across. We could even do a polished shelf, too. To make it look like it's uh, we're trying to bridge a gap. That's good to hear that you will. Apparently, I can't stop opening empty boxes.
Uh, let's start with this. See what we see what we come up with. All right. So my thought here. probably have to get a piece of, of uh, stone and put it in the corner. Much, let me try that. Alright, so... Let's try that piece there. Now let's see if I can... That's all you're going to let me maneuver, really? There we go. <laughs> and then, if it works, yeah, it kind of looks like a impromptu wooden, you know, little little platform to get you across. Kind of works. So, we're going to need a bunch of this kind of stuff. Bury this stuff in the wall because it's holding everything up. Okay, get a little bit of that going on. Let's see if we can... Do something like this. Kinda. <laughs> not perfect. Can't say I absolutely love it, but it but it's not bad. Um can we do one the other direction? If we're careful. There's a way to have sticky stabby sticking out from the side. Saw it. We're kind of okay. I don't want to stick it out too much, but I want to stick it out enough. We do a little bit of number like that. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Uh, I wanted to see if I could get this to make it look... Oh, good lord. I'm going to have to go way down to make that work. Yeah, I'm good. That is a good height for it. Question is, what is on the other side of that? I don't remember. That kind of works. Hey, no problem, man. I appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this god tier building, but I appreciate the comment. Uh, let's see. Got to have some uh, boxes full of stuff because we're working in here. We're making a mess. Got a lot of stuff going on. We have buildings falling down. Dude, that actually looks really good. It looks like just shit all just blah, fell down, made a huge mess. We're like, nope, nope, we're not going that way anymore. Okay, let's get some of these in here, maybe. Yeah, let's have them all jank. That's great. Because it's like they, they threw it up real quickly. So they, they, they didn't have time to worry about how good it looked. OSHA didn't stop by today.
I want to be able to place instruments into a uh, 100%. But it's not just that. So think of Valheim. I don't know if you played Valheim. Welcome in for the folks that I haven't said hello to. Um, you can place food, drinks, potions, all that kind of stuff. And that stuff's in the game. We know it is because we walk out into the world and we grab it ourselves. So we already know the model exists. The 3D model exists. Just let us have it. Let, let the players be able to do stuff with that because we love doing that stuff. It's great. I mean, I don't know about you, but I love doing that stuff. I think it's awesome to be able to place all kinds of... You know, I, I want that lived-in feel for my bases. Clutter. Yep. I, I want a lived-in feel. I want it to make it look like it's... Uh, you know, stuff's ap actually happening there. All right with that. Look, look like it's it's still collapsing even as they've tried to repair it. Okay, that's a little too much. <laughs> you know what I could do though? I could get us a little bit better playing field right here. That's all flat, so it's going to need to be a small one. It's not flat enough. Yeah, it's not quite flat enough. Okay. That's alright. Um, try one more of these. It just ends up being super jank. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe that. And then we're going to need some for this back side. we got to make sure people don't... Do I care as much about the back side? I don't think I really do, but let's put in a little bit up this way. Maybe. All right, let's get this a little smoother because I don't imagine players are going to be wanting to run through a uh, bleep blop bleep blop over and over again. It it would get annoying over time, and I don't want to use the rake because the rake will make it look just way too smooth. There's one there. There's a high spot. Oh, 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 yep, there it is. More shelves as planks, 100%. Oh, they need to fix. Now, I brought this up um, the other day? So, recently? I don't know when it was. I brought it up recently. That uh, the um, stone bench got screwed when they added sit to it, the sit animation. You can't make uh, spiral staircases with the stone bench anymore. I found that out... Uh, for my Halloween contest build. I was none too happy about that. Because I was the one... Well, okay, I did not f uh, figure the whole thing out. I was like the second... Hey, why aren't you put it in there? I was like the second person to actually use it, but... Uh, I used it to really good effect, and we can't do it anymore. And I'm, I was a little sad face. So, Cub said that he'll he'll see about mentioning it to the... To the programmer peoples, see if it's something they can uh, remedy. That is not too shabby. <laughs> it just looks awesome. So yeah, you got your little workspace come in and oh man, what happened there? Holy shit. You come around and you got this little I gotta get around this because they even broke the damn stairs. Yeah. It's a little, little tough getting up that way, but we can make it work. Easier paths like pa pavers. Pavers would be nice because, you know, you can do... You can do this tool, but it's still a large... That, that's what I was saying when I was placing those other things. I'd like something more than just a, the single block to be able to do landscape things. I, it doesn't matter what the landscape thing is. I want... And then... But I don't want to use that block. 
I want this block in half, and I want it round, or rounded, maybe is the better term for it. I definitely want different paths, uh, all kinds of stuff in that uh, vein, because it will make it much nicer. All right, I need to finish these things out, and then get my wall going, and I think I'll break through the wall there and have another rock there as well. Okay, how deep does that go? I need to still go more. So then... Switch here. Okay. And we are coming straight... Yeah. Yeah, we're coming straight back. I can always indent it or add more to the column later if I want to. There we go. Camera. I, I want a better damn camera. The, the camera is literally the final boss of Enshrouded. Especially when it comes to building. Where are you at? Right there. Oh, I'm not up high enough. That's what it is. Then, then I've got a maybe a minus, uh, minus a minor gripe. This is not because I dislike uh, that they're using it, and part of it's because my old brain is dumb, apparently. I want now. I, I I do understand. Keen is working on a some form of a, a um, creative mode, free build mode. Na name your whatever you want to name it. I need to check, make sure I'm not effing up upstairs. Um, but the builder's companion. I like the builder's companion. I I have no issues with the builder's companion. I just want to be able to do that shit in the game without having to have the builder's companion. And I mean no offense to the people that created it. Turk and all of them that worked on it. Shade helped. Uh, J J S Game, I think, really worked on the camera stuff early on. They can do amazing things with it, and I want to be able to do that in the base game. And it's not because I'm I'm like mod. Uh, unfriendly or mod phobic or something. I love mods. I man, my Fallout games and Skyrim games are modded all to hell. So that's not the issue. It's just that I like to be able to do things with the base game. And a lot of what I put uh, is that all the way up there. It is. A lot of the videos I put up on my YouTube, the tutorials and stuff I do, I do them as base game tutorials because I want to show people what can be done without having to have this thing or that thing in order to make it happen, and I think a lot of people appreciate that. Is that the right spot? Yep, there it is. So then that will come... I'll just follow these up, the stair will go up, and the wall will go up to there, and then all that would be messed up because we have it all chunked. Right, okay. So then this would come up, we'll go to that spot. Problem with mods, and I also have a million fallout. Every time that, oh yeah, so. <laughs> and Enshrouded is a proprietary engine. I can't think of the name of the engine at the top of my head, but. Um, so that makes it even worse. Essentially, Keen is going to have to create something similar to the creation engine in Starfield. Um, I realize that's the engine but i mean it also the creation club also allows you to mod with it you do fallouts so you probably know what i'm talking about um they're going to i think in my opinion and it's probably what's taken them some time and and honestly if it were me i probably wouldn't be working on it that hard right now either it's more about finishing the game first um i think they're going to have to create the tool I think it's going to have to be something made by Keen that we utilize in order to be able to 
function properly with this proprietary engine that doesn't end up causing problems that oh you know what uh, I hope I didn't go too high just now that could very well cause problems due to the fact that it's not just oh we're just modding an unreal engine or oh it's unity or this that and whatever so I do hope they get that all worked out I'm definitely gonna have to bring that in something they can keep maintaining themselves now uh, again that that does require their willingness to maintain something for a length of time uh, Enshrouded sold very very well I we're over three million copies at this point so I would hope that that is enough incentive for them to want to support it for a good 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 time in the future I, I don't know though games are expensive man it, it's it's why you see even live service games dying because it just takes a lot of freaking money to keep everything keep the lights on so to speak so yeah I mean it does have to be something they're willing to continue the work on and I and I hope they are willing I hope they do want that out of uh, enshrouded I'm I kind of I kind of think that's okay just like it is Maybe I can break that up a little bit. Maybe look like it just broke through that part right there too. And then over here, I could. So this would normally be like that and like this, and I could just take it and just break it. Well, let's be honest. They have all those settings you can set as far as difficulty, and also it makes the game super accessible. Also, I pledge and. Okay, I have a gripe about that, and it's not about the settings. I have a gripe about, this was on Steam, this was recently, and yes, I know Reddit and Steam and forum type things are cesspools, I get it. I cannot believe this one person on Steam lost their absolute minds at two or three different people that we're asking something we've all kind of asked for because I love the hollow halls but my god they take way too long and there's no uh, checkpoints or anything like that that you can go back to like later on I don't know you got a kid or the door dash is here and, or all of a sudden you gotta go to the bathroom or disability issues or you lose your internet it doesn't make any difference oh too bad you gotta start all over again so someone was asking could there at least just be checkpoints? They're already in in there. They have the, um, what's it, uh, flame shrine? Is that what they call the one you get the not not the spark, but the little thing that it it is a checkpoint, and so they could make those so that we could teleport back to I don't know a, a game time frame or something. I don't know. Some person, oh yes, yeah, we should totally respect your time, right? And and uh, nobody else's, and the game should all be about you, and let's make everything uh, 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 defeatable in five minutes. And I'm like, really? That's your take on this? That that this person or the couple of people are asking that the game should be defeatable in five minutes? I mean, really? What does it harm anybody if a studio adds difficulty sliders, adds um, colorblind mode? There's people out there that are colorblind. I'm not colorblind, but I can understand that maybe they can't see this this red color right here. And so they so they have a colorblind mode. The the amount of people that lose their absolute minds when people bring up, hey, is it possible that we could get this kind of thing? It would really help with time. And they're like, uh, 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 well, yeah, game, yeah, they should totally respect it. I'm just like, bro, chill out. It's a game. <laughs> I'm afraid if I use my pickaxe right here, it's going to break this thing. I think I'm just going to... Let's see. Let's add... Let's add this right... Get real careful. Still like... That. And, and, and to be fair... So, uh, I played World War... I, my first MMO was EVE Online. So, yeah, t talk about starting hard. 
Uh, then I played a year later. I started WoW back in TBC. So I'm back from the days when, when hardcore raiding was hardcore raiding. It just you're li you had no life. It literally had no life. Uh, Sunday I had to go out because I was the only one that could fish and had the fish feast. I had to go out and and farm fish every Sunday, just so that I could have enough for hours of raid Monday through Saturday. And I'll never do that again. Like, literally, we'll never do that again. I, I was working full-time or close to it, and then WoW was my full-time job, essentially, raiding. And I, just, I, I can't, I cannot physically do that anymore. However, WoW also ruined it. Is, is Eleven the one where that kid died in a raid because it took, like, 23 hours? Or is it 10? I think eleven sounds right, and the one that has had like uh, bosses that there would be like fifty people spawn camping twenty four seven, and the moment it would spawn, or not not bosses necessarily, but like world mobs that dropped like these special daggers or something, and is that the one? Oh, drop. Okay, so we're still good on this. I think I'll just leave it like that. I don't think it needs to be... Oh, well, I need a little bit more over here. Should play 2006-16. Yes, camping was real. I... My... Four, let's see, when did I start? I want to say I started even though 06 and then WoW and 7. I haven't played either for quite some time. Um, but it, it was something to that effect. Let me see if I can get some of these in here that look all janked. Like the rocks pushed them over all messed up. Let's do smaller ones. But uh, games like WoW would... Uh, Blizzard is kind of the culprit behind the whole instant gratification, but, but pissed off everything's too difficult kind of stuff. You know, with... <sighs> Do I say homogenization or dumbing down of the game? Because it's really both the same kind of thing. Uh, uh, we need to block this off too. Will this let me jank it a little bit or is it all going to be straight? Probably going to be all straight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to the big one, and let's just kind of, it's kind of like that. It's not perfect, because I can't get it to be that perfect on there, but it, it makes, it's, oh, wait a minute, I just messed that up. Now you can't get up here. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do that one. Oh, I know. I could do it like a crisscross. Like, bro, don't go this way. Hey, I kind of like that. Uh, no, that's literally the whole purpose of this. Um, the... Well, it's like, like Jasper will jump in or somebody will jump in and have some ideas like, uh, what if you did this or that? I mean, that's it's, it's why I'm doing this in, in Twitch and not just doing it myself, is so that if anybody has ideas for what they like to see in it, I can do those. So I'm all for chatting. Uh, uh, hey, hey, no, no. Okay, fine. Alright, let's do that then. And And honestly, it's one of those things where this this one you know I don't like this one over here it looks dumb um this one thing has taken me so long I've never finished this hollow hall I mean obviously but it, it's just one of those things where it it just it's been so long that I've been working on this that I think the whole concept of streaming it to get it done 
Uh, so for me, Twitch is new. I've had Twitch forever, but I've only been streaming for a month. And so YouTube is just where I do my thing. And I, I'm not going to stop doing that anytime soon. Let's see, that's there, that's there. I like it. It looks like a big-ass calamity happened here. We got, looks like rocks, holes through the floor. We got this little, okay, well, this is what we're going to do for now. And this coming through here, it's great. And you can come up like this, and you don't get stuck on anything. Nice. Oh, I should finish the stair over to the edge, though. So it actually looks appropriate. We don't have amateur builders here. Kind of do. Uh, uh, oh, am I missing it? Oh, the wall's there, okay. So I'm gonna have to come like this. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. That's good. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Maybe even we got a little bit of damage down here too. There we go. Nice. Very cool looking. But uh, part of doing Twitch is, quite frankly, YouTube pays shit. And it's it's one of those things where I spend a lot of time making videos, putting up videos, and YouTube takes so much of the the ad revenue. And I'm, I'm not willing to up... I just have the ad revenues at default, or ads at default. I'm not willing to up them just to try to get squeeze more money out of people because then they'll stop watching... But they take so much of it, it's just like, what's even the point? And so I, I'm the idea is to have Twitch as the smoother, is smoother a good word for it? Start making a little bit on Twitch, then I have the little bit from YouTube, and then I still have a little bit from Patreon, and kind of kind of it, it, it all goes in and, and works itself out, I guess is the way to say it. I'm definitely having some builder's block on what I'm going to do with this king and queen's room in here. I know I need to build a bathroom. And I want to do... So I kind of want to do... A... Okay, you know the bathrooms where you have a wall and then you come around the wall and you get one of those his and her... Like, like the shower's like 5 feet by 8 feet or something like that. It's just this massive shower thing. I'm kind of thinking something like that. I just don't know if I want it to be a separate room. We could do we could do a water closet for the bathroom, the toilet and have a feature here with some really nice tile floor. Hmm. What should we do? Let's see. I don't really like the bed there anyway. Maybe the bed can go over there. So let's do, let's try something here. How much space do I want? Oh yeah, 100%. I've just been throwing crap in here because stuff that I think I'll, I'll want to have in here. Alright, do I want to do even or do I want to do odd? Let's start with even and see what we think about this. So let's come up two, and then I can make a shelf. On the inside, we can have some... Grand pillars, maybe... Change to this. If I do pillars, don't want to stick them out. Water would be very nice. Well, I mean, I mean, honestly, it might be coming. We already know there's frozen water. 
Ooh, I wonder if we're getting that as a uh, build block. I don't know how they do it, though. Oh, yeah, I know how they do it. This tool right here. The terrain tool. If we could get it as terrain, that'd be great. Oh, no, yeah, I'll put the bed. I'm probably even do an alcove for the bed. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the fabric. Yeah, 100%. I like that idea. Like a four-post bed. But definitely, a, it's definitely got to be up. Oh, you know what? The bed, this could be the bed right here up on a platform, just like you say, up on a platform. And see, what I'm thinking here... Okay. Do I want it like... Me as, oh, 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 I got it. 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 If this is the bedroom, and the bed should be the central item, and everything around should be accessories. Well, yeah, that's what I'm planning. Like that, walk in. There's the bed, and it's going to be surrounded by. Now I need to go higher because we want to do the a platform, a race platform. So let's see, for raised platform, let's do, let's go some fancy, let's do some fancy for it. Oh, I forgot about that. Palm wood looks like shit as floor, looks like parquet. I mean, it's still all right. I just don't like that look. Okay, I need to see how high up this is gonna be. I also want a different double bed. I just don't really like the palm wood stuff. That's that's just me. I'm not a fan of the palm wood. So I think that'll work, but I need to put a cabinet behind it. Small mirror desk, big closet. Yep, yeah, I'm like that. So probably you'll come in and there'll be some. Oh, you, I I can easily do the privacy wall. I can do the. That that thing I build, I can't think of the name. Of it. You know, it's got like three, the the privacy screen. There's there's a name for them. Someone said it the other day, and I can't think of a name of it now. But I make it with a uh... shit. Let's go get him. Let me take a drink real quick. All right, I need to do. Hey, what the hell's going on there? No, no, no. Alright. So, let me go get the things and I'll show you, for those who have never seen it being built, I'll show you building a privacy screen. I have it on a YouTube video, but it doesn't mean anybody's seen it. Do -do -do. Nope. Yep. Oh, I do not have very many. That's not going to work at all. Okay, I got to get more up here. It's fine, we can return all of our... Uh, and I did it again. We return all this stuff. You have seen it. All right. There's that. I love these all these janked ones. They're great. I'll keep that for now. You have to, okay. Well, if you've seen it, well, we got a couple other people. I'll I'll, I'll just bring the stuff down because I want to. I I agree with that. And I will do. Let's see, one, two, three. Yep. We'll do a three-way. I have the prison. Yep, I have the prison things. Uh, my new favorite tool to use for it is this. The uh, 
stone shelf. It works much better and it will fit in smaller spaces. Since when does that much grass grow in the roadway? Was that new? Am I just... I don't know. I don't remember all that, that much grass growing in the roadway. All right. This way, that way, this way. Your sky city, you don't have dirt roads. Okay. Well, fair enough. It it may very well be a glitch. I need more camera. Well, let me. Let's see more stair options, uh, that railings that aren't so blocked. Yeah. I mean, you can do the roof. The tarred roof works really well, but it still isn't all that great. It's not in the right spot. Yep, that'll work. Damn it, get on there. There we go. I'm just happy with more any options. What the crap? That one there is off bad. Maybe we'll just we'll make believe it was ma made in by IKEA or something. Okay. This I think now makes it. So the video obviously we didn't have these when when that that video came out. That really makes it. This uh, prison fence piece. What the hell? That's not the right thing. That's that one. No, we gotta wait. I gotta get the thing first. Okay. Technically, one of these should be on the back side.
Dude, they look like freaking hinges. Holy shit. I didn't know I didn't realize they look like freaking hinges. Nice. So we've got that jobby. Give us a little bit of privacy. We got this. Uh, that's not going to be high enough, so let's keep going with this. Definitely want to come down a little bit. Oh, 100% of played Tiny Glade. I've already streamed it twice, and um, I so I did the first day's daily challenge, and then I made a th uh, what did I call it? Uh, Traveler's Rest. the The only main issue I have with Tiny Glade, which is so weird, um, people don't seem to care about it on my channel. I've I have one, two, three, at least three videos up, and they just don't get any views. Uh, for my channel, it kind of, it's kind of like if it's not in Shrouded or uh, Starfield, people don't really care too much, and that's fine. I I don't mind being primarily Starfield and Shrouded. That's fine. That's just kind of I'm gonna block those out further. That's just kind of how it ends up with me, unfortunately. It's like Forever Skies. I love Forever Skies. I have like. 90 videos of it on, on my channel and they all fall on deaf ears but I still put them up because I love the game then the, the one game that just irks me to this day that oh, where the hell did you go that's funny that just it just completely it, it landed like a wet fart planet of Lana now it's not anything like a normal game that I would play, but it's so beautiful. It's such a well-told story. It's such a good game, and nobody cared. Just like literally nobody cared. the The game I don't think sold that well. It it got really good uh, accolades, but I just don't think it sold very well. And it, it's it's really unfortunate because it is it's an absolute masterpiece of a game. 2D side scroller type of thing. So beautiful. But yeah, the videos I put up. I, I've got one video from over a year ago that has nine views. And it's a how to video. How, how to uh, pass one of the, what are they called, uh, puzzles in the game. I'm just like, what? <laughs> is this real life? That kid, David, after the dentist, is this real life? <laughs> That's okay. I I do this because I love to do this, and I'm I'm still, cause I'm semi-retired, so I'm still. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. should we put it? No, no, no. We can't put the inner reveal because of the way these things don't mesh correctly. Um, I still work off of savings plus what I make from this kind of stuff, which is not a whole lot, and then. If I need to do a little bit of work, I do some work like video editing and photo editing on the side and stuff. So, yeah, I kind of dig it. I think we need an upper... Something in the upper register, too, maybe. Let's do... Let's, let's see what this looks like. If we go up to the top. We could go like super hollow halls and do that kind of looks weird. Let's try that and that. Yeah, even that looks a little weird. You understand you have a content channel I started a year ago and had 90 subs and it never grew and I spent hours editing videos and finally gave up on it. So for me that I mean that was me uh, up until Starfield. I just happened to get lucky that I was doing videos that nobody else did, and it was comparisons of the various types of ship haps. 
And to that, up to that point, do I want to put something behind this? I think I want to put something behind this. Uh, nobody had done. Do I want to put this? I don't put shells. Uh, nobody had really properly done that. And because I had already done two or three Starfield videos and it was just like, meh, nobody cares. And then all of a sudden, it, it when I say it happened overnight, I've never seen anything like it. Well, of course, that that's what everybody says, I guess. Bookshelves behind the bed. Okay. Um, I went from 482, 486, something like that. Uh, to like 1.6 thousand in two hours, because that one, the one video that just popped for everybody. Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, got 58 thousand views in 24 hours. It just absolutely went bananas. So I wonder if I did two of these then to cite it how that would look. I think it would look all right. And then we put the bed right up against I need to get another one. But let's let's put the bed up there and see what we think. And it, it just it was just like all of a sudden just, oh, here you go. Have some views. It just instantly just spam. I'm like, "Um, are you kidding me right now?" And it just went nuts. And uh, I did luckily ride the starfield wave for a long time and it, funny enough i actually think i got a false here let's just use this one i think i got a false sense of i don't know what the term would be wonder from youtube in the beginning because i'm not even joking my first 10 days i made 800 bucks in 10 days the first 10 days of being monetized the uh, first actual month uh, after those 10 days, I made uh, $1,200. And now, now I can't even feed myself on it. it, it it's just down to this, like, barely anything. This is like this tiny trickle, which, whatever, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it, but... Hmm. Should I put these little guys up on something? I think I should put them up on something. Just to get a, just to get a little bit of height on them. So they're, they're a little bit more prominent. And it's weird because I didn't change anything. I, I still do all the same things I've always done. But it just, for some reason... Uh, well, yeah, because you won't see that. That's fine. You know, everybody's always like, Well, it's the YouTube algorithm. I'm like, okay. If that's what it is, then YouTube algorithm went peace out, bro. <laughs> So, okay, I have found, because I tried this too, I, I tried it f for a lot, my Let's Play videos did awful. Now, granted, I'm a dude, and I also don't show my face, and that's mostly because I'm just not that pretty, um, but in part because earlier on I didn't have the equipment to be able to do it. I do now, I have a camera if I wanted to do it, but... I didn't earlier. I think that looks a little better. And I'm not that funny. I'm so so I'm not that entertaining. I'm okay, gamer. Uh, but I'm that guy that I love Elden Ring and suck at it so bad that it. I just I'm like mm, okay, just cry a little bit inside when I look at that game because I I love it so much, but I'm just absolutely terrible at it. Yeah, that's not bad. I can dig it. Uh, I don't think the sideboards are gonna, the side tables are gonna work though. I think those are not what I'm, what I'm digging. And now I think I actually need to come out one more again. So let's do that. If I hit, learn how to hit buttons right. But I think so. When it comes to something like Enshrouded, I'm a good enough builder. I think that I get those that are like around to look for tips like oh how do I do this well let me show you right now right now yeah the tables aren't too big yeah oh yeah uh, uh, my buddy and I have a game uh, both of us have leveled all three types 
warrior, ranger, and mage to 25. So we so on that we have all three of them. We've completed everything. He's <laughs> this dude. He <laughs> he's that guy who is always asking for help on how to do stuff, like me ha having to help him through the game. And this dude aced the Kindle Waste flying challenge without hitting a single wall. Nothing never fell once, and I'm the idiot bouncing off the fucking red. <laughs> Pardon my language, but I'm I'm that dude bouncing off of the red over and over again, and like trying my best to hop and and not die from from it uh, taking all of my shroud timer out. I'm just like, bro, how did you even do that? He's like, I don't know, it just worked. But but then he's the guy that dies to the cyclops over and over and over and over again. <laughs> It's just like, I don't even, is this real life? One of those kinds of comments. Uh, okay, so let's see. I want to do... Oh, it's not going to fit there. All right. Okay, so I think over here, I like the idea of a library seating area. Like a little little reading nook kind of job over that way. Maybe we'll start it with this. Not a bench. Bench would not go in there. Let's move that over here for now. I'm going to have to make this deeper. This is going to be too shallow now. And now that I have see that there, I don't like it. I'm going to have to make it deeper just to hide all the weird edges on that. I hope Keen can get that figured out. I did a whole video where I tested all the different materials and how they go work up to get the edge of each other and it's the right side that messes up on like a dozen different ones needle working area for the queen we could use the loom not not the big one I'm sorry the the um, the hand the hand loom the spindle the spindle we use a spindle do something with that bucket I don't need you here right now in fact, I need to move all this stuff. Now, the question is, do I want to do the actual hollow hall shelving, or do I want to do the nicer shelving? I mean, we're already doing some other stuff. We don't have a bed for the hollow halls, except for that prison bed, which would look awful. And I don't really think the, these, uh, the king and queen would want to have that. Uh... I think they'd be a little unhappy about that. Okay, let's go take a look. Because, I mean, I, that's not bad. It would work fine. And it's got a cool look to it. The small ones would work alright. I, I think the medium size is more appropriate. We'll take a look at them. Let's see if I got anything here. I think I've taken them all. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Eh, not crude wooden, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, damn, I got plenty of extras there. Ooh, that's an idea. So, I could have, you know how in some like, um, like fancier places, they'll have an opening, not, not a, not, so it's inside, so it's not a real windowed space, but they'll use, meh, where's that? They'll use window frames with no panes in it. We could we could do something like that to kind of not make a room, just like a just like a little separation. You know what we also need? We need a day bed. That would be a cool thing to have. Yeah, you know, like an alcove. Um Why do I keep doing that? 
I just, I, I've never liked the look of the palm wood stuff. These are nice. I just, I mean, they kind of fit because they're darker. The candle inside, yet. Let's see. Let's do. How do I want to do this? I could do, because hmm, I think I want to have chandeliers too for the space. I'll take a couple of those. See, see what I'm, see what I can see. <laughs> Grab two more of those. I think they should have a fancy fireplace. I've already got that in the um, the main hall. So I'm I kind of wish this tub didn't have that curve to it. Let me rephrase that. I kind of wish we had another tub that had this kind of thing, because I would love to sink it down grotto style you know like floor level um, but also down say a step that's something we could do to separate the space for the the bathroom space is have it come down one level and I definitely want to have dual shower heads uh, I mean they're definitely gonna have a copper bathtub but let's take this down there take a look <laughs> the other thing I'm gonna do and I, I don't know how you'll like this idea Nina is um okay so we can't go this way too too much because we are already not that far from the wall uh, right there you see it so but what I think I want to do is have, and, and maybe we even do it a secret, like a, a section of wall here in the middle that's the red that we can put the secret door on, and have a hidden, like, enchanted grove inside there that's, you know, got the Azure Russula in it for light, that's got some of the... Um, the, the blue stuff that, that we put place to grow. I can't luminescent uh, bioluminescent uh, growth and and maybe a tree or two just just this, like enchanted little cave forest or something and we would come down a little bit. We'd go in and go down some plants, you know, just this pretty little space that maybe maybe the queen has nurtured all by herself and and um, like okay. This is what made me think of it. Let's go out here, out here to the mess hall and we'll go into the... Oh, the other thing is I need to raise this up on a platform. I th they, they need to be more prominent, the king and queen. I don't know if you saw this, but it's not really done yet, I think, but it's it's nice. I, I love the... That was Jasper's idea, I think. And then these, of course, th this was a Ketmall idea that I plundered and used myself. But uh, in here, this. This is what, when I was building this, is what made me think of it. So we could have, not necessarily this look specifically, but this kind of just little, little hidden, little hidden gem uh, back through there that's there, uh, or her little, like, like the king's doing his kingly duties and he, he's in here dealing with people and, you know, bringing down the 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 hammer uh, for all the all these pe uh, peasants and workers that are waiting because you know whatever they haven't gotten paid or so and he's like just be happy I let you live here and feed you whatever and she's back here just toiling away in her gardens and stuff assuming I oops, you know what 
screw it, let's find out. I don't know how big a space we have, but I'm think this needs to be back further anyway because this is too damn close. So I'm thinking secret door through. Let's find out just, oh, wow. Okay, well, below maybe? Because <laughs> we're not going any more that way. I have just enough space to move this thing, and that's all I've got, because there's the wall, the boundary. Okay, well, uh, we're going to have to do it down. All right, so we could have the reading nook over here, we come into the bathroom, but on this side, maybe, we have a staircase that goes down to her super sweet thing. The Enchanted Grove or something. Well, shoot. I wish we had more space, but... C'est la vie, I mean... I knew I was going to hit it eventually, I just didn't realize it was that close. Might as well use the whole space. Uh, let's get these back out to the wall. Oh, I already got one that one. All right, we'll put one here for now. I shouldn't put it up that high. It's going to cause problems in the future. Do do do. All right, let's get to destroying. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Now let's get our absolute maximum distance. Which is apparently right there. No viewers for you, buddy. Funny enough, in um, my my first contest entry, the Troll Bridge, the whole like underground section, which which I called the the mine from the original excavation, I went all the way to, to the boundary and I left the boundary, so it looked like it kind of kind of like uh, what you say with the the dwarves of Moria, they dug too deeply and found the the bad things and so I, I kind of play, played up on that. It worked out pretty well. Had a good look to it. Walk it back in a straight line. Oh, it was. That's cool. Yeah, that build was... So, I did it in the demo, and Keen loved it uh, in the demo. They they Mine was uh, one of the very first builds that they retweeted back... I mean, we're talking, you know, the demo only lasted for like eight days or something. And I'm like, well, shit, they loved it during the demo. I'll just rebuild the thing. And it was fun to do. Um, I I gotta say, uh, Millie, Melee, May whatever, whatever, uh, the per the per one that won her her bill was just outstanding. Okay, so that's too far. So that is our our max. Okay. Ush, I need to learn how to put walls up. Apparently. Alright. Yeah, that's a little better. That gives us more space to have a proper bathroom back here. It actually kind of makes sense in a castle that you would just have a bath, bath space and not a whole ass room for it. 
that it would be part of the quote unquote master suite. There we go. Fix you. Go there. Hmm. Partially tempted to do, leave a truth window, but I don't know what the po point would be, what it's going to do for us. Alright, we need to move the columns. Did I do them as call? I did, okay. No, no, no. Didn't build anything amazing, just a small house. I bet it was just fine. Although we had pretty limited resources during the... I mean, there was a couple of us that all we did... Once we like built all the things, all we did was just run around searching for shit. And Cub kept messing with us all like, uh, yeah, it might be uh, like a Tuscany bathroom or something. So we spent hours scouring every building trying to find a block that looked like Tuscany bathroom. And he's like, well, I didn't say literally Tuscany. I'm like, you bastard. But it, it was fun. I, I knew then that this game was going to be just a... God, I need to learn how to go up all the way. Uh, that it was going to be a monster of a game. I didn't realize it would be 3 million copies sold kind of monster, but I knew it was going to be big. It just it just had that je ne sais quoi that it, it was going to be something. Uh, let's see, that one... Probably can't reach. No, I cannot. Yeah, I don't need to build that area. Okay. So, I definitely think I want to do those feature walls, too. Maybe... God, there's just so much open open space. I'm just like, what do I do next? Right. Fireplace. Maybe right here instead of that. So we can have a fireplace right across from the bed. That's also close to the nook. Or... Is the nook? It's a bit far from the bed. We could do it as the nook. I don't mind that. Alright. Let's take... Take these out, because it's going to be in the way of this thing. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Mm. Let's, let's bring it up a level. Oh, that's worse. Okay. Damn. Hmm. That's interesting. Huh. The way that floor works, I don't like it. Need to take some nice photos of my village in the forest that I built. I'm guessing you have a Discord, so I can share them. I do have a Discord, but I don't put post it publicly. Um. You can, though, if you don't mind having a free account on Patreon, you can post it to my Patreon. Um, give me a sec. I, I've got... Oops. I've got a chat on there. Let me... 
I'll just relink the what I did earlier, which is the new save files. I just posted new save files today. So uh, this, w I redid the whole thing, duped everything all over again, and posted that today. So on there, if you don't mind being a free member, um, is there's a chat and you can post it there. I check it multiple times a day. That's something they're working on. They they said, who was it? Toast, Cub maybe. It, this was recent, recent like, uh, I don't know weeks plural, but maybe less than a week ago. God, I don't like how that sticks out like that. That sucks. I mean, it's nice in the corner, but. I don't love it. Where's the little one? Here it is. Will this look good under here? It sure kind of does. Ooh, now should I have it so it's like... Sticking out, sticking in... Sticking out further, we'll put little cups and stuff on it or something. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, and supposedly that's going to be getting some love as well. Um, I really hope so, because one thing that drives me crazy is the camera always having to do this or, or build something that you can stand in front of, because even that doesn't work, you know, to, to occlude your camera so you can take good pictures is kind of annoying. Um, but whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so. If we did, I feel like those are awful oppressive in height, especially if we're trying to build kind of like a cozy. Okay, let's see. Would we have... I feel like one of the things I need to do is go get a big ass cozy rug. A big furry rug for a reading nook. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. They are working on giving us the option to be able to more easily get to each other's worlds. Now obviously save files are easy enough. But not everybody's that good with save files as a testament to every time I post these things, people are like, I don't know how to do it. I'm like, it's it's very easy. Well, but it's not working for me, but, but it's very easy. But and Okay. <laughs> and I, at some point, I'm just like, oh, okay, let's take both the fuzzies. I don't know how big I want it. That's awful big. We'll see. Um... I hope they are able to make it better. I mean, this goes back into the same thing we talk about creative mode uh, that we need because it is their own proprietary engine. Basically, they're going to have to give us all these tools if this is something they want to do in order for us to be able to... Oh, yeah, that's way too small. Okay, so it would definitely be like more like that. What if we did like that? I feel like having a big fluffy carpet right in front of a fire is a terrible idea, but I'm going to run with it. Okay, so I can put some books on that. And then, I kind of think I want to, I don't want to have it like, here, let's get, let's get some of this stuff out of my bags. I'm going to have these here, but I need to fix that first. Okay, um, chairs. I might even go get some different chairs. So like instead of doing just a big square space, maybe we 
actually give it some character. Okay. I think about this. All right, so let's do that and this. Come on. Didn't quite work. That's another thing we need. We need a seti. Uh, well, I mean, it kind of goes along with the whole daybed concept. Sit down. We got a nice fire. We'll put our books shelves up. I think I want to. I'm gonna have to thicken this wall because I think I would like to set these in. Mary Free member. Oh, you already were. That's funny. It says. Yeah, right, right. Ha oh, yeah. Cozy like a house fire. There you go. Um, I think I might thicken this wall one just so that I can inset the cabinets. I think it'll look better. Get out of my way. Well, I'm going to have to move all this stuff. Let's just do this there. Do another one there. there should be plenty of light. Now, get back to the tool. And let's just go double thick with the whole damn wall. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do for any kind of a reveal or tooling or anything on it. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to go get more blocks, apparently. Let me check, see if I have any more here first. So I don't have to go too far. That's a no. Okay, we'll just go get some blocks. Hey, my little dude's grown. I did that so that you got... Oh, I moved these in here, too. These were, were only in that little, like... Can you still place books on shelves that you inset into walls? Are you talking about after you have replaced the wall? So you put your shelf up... So you, ha you have your hole, you put your shelf on the, on the hole, then you hit YYY to bring it back. Is that what you mean? Did I grab what I need? Yeah. Instead of putting the bookcase in uh, as a built-in, you do shells as the built-ins. So shells between the two, I mean, uh, as far as I'm aware, I, uh, I can't say I've tried recently, to be honest. I don't know if anything's changed. But I can't imagine that would be a problem. 
The only thing that I've found recently that is a problem that ha did actually change is the the collision on um, stone bench got messed up when they made it available to sit. That's that's the only thing that I'm aware of that got screwed up. Change back again. Okay. And actually, as much as that sticks out, I'm going to go ahead and put this back up. Because that fireplace sticks out really far. And now this needs to be taken up because that's going to be in the way. I do have enough space, okay? So let's try this again. We might actually have to change it to that instead. Actually, let's do that anyway. But before we do that, let's figure out how big these are. Okay, so do that. That's where I want, and that's one too high. Just got to remember that. There. Oh, it's in my back. All right, so let's see what this looks like. bring it out just a hair. So then this guy now goes between it and the other one. Something like that, maybe. Let's check this guy, get its dimensions. Basically, right there. I don't know that I'm done with them, but that's what I want to try. Okay, so there's my size. Nope, nope, nope. Four. Alright, so then... No, not cook. Back. I just want it sunk in a little bit more because it's... Oh, you know what I need to do? Haha. -ha. I can fix that garbage being stuck there in my way. Haha. -ha. Okay, I didn't do enough. Haha -ha is on me, actually. Okay, so that one and that one. Hey, no, not that far. Now we're back tighter to the wall. That looks better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. So that is just the start, I think. I think I want to have more going upwards, something. So if we want to make this a nook, 
maybe so we already have the red there it's right up against it all right so let's see what we can do two piece in the middle it's hard to tell one two three twelve it's two pieces in the middle okay six so it's there and there Single shelf cross. Oh, I don't have the right one. I gotta go get the right one. There's the one that matches that that I can put up there that I think will look nice as a mantle. Okay, so now also because this is double thick now, I want to do this jobby. need to go up one I think the whole thing needs to go up one and that sucks <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah All right, let's go get the right shelf. Do do do, but a boom. That's a door. Grab some cups and junk for the mantle. Yeah, I'll, I'll put all kinds of stuff. I tend to do most of the clutter stuff at the end because I I don't know how, how you are with building and stuff. I have to let the space kind of speak to me. So I've got an idea, some grand scope, but I don't have the details yet. And so I let the the space kind of oh I don't like that bar that sticks out that sucks I'm almost gonna have to have um, another shelf in there to give, give me some height 
or to give me some uh, some bit sticking out. And then here, just in case that's the wrong height. So, go back to this. But yeah, it, for me, it, it takes... Um... It takes the, the the space telling me what it wants as I'm building. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. I need to put this down. I do not love that bottom bar. So, I think I'm going to have to move it in, which sucks so bad. That is not going to be easy to do. So, you have to move out of my way. the right height. Try to think of where my where the reticle is. Okay, I need to go get a stool. So I do as long as I don't get builder's block. When I get builder's block I'm like, oh shiny and I find something else and I start working on that for a little bit. And then I come back and then another one, oh shiny and then I work on something else for a bit. You know that that tent oh I had one right here I didn't even notice that does tend to happen with me quite a bit I don't I don't think I have any stools down here I nah, just take all four who cares Owie. Man, I remember the days when uh, Water Aura was ridiculous. Highest I ever got it was 103. Oh, let's try that. You know what I'm also going to have to do? These are all in my way. There you go. Alright, Mr. Shelf. Spotlight is yours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, get centered. Hot. Oh, this one's this one's too far out. I think I said that earlier and I just forgot about it. How about them apples? It's not perfect perfect, but it's nice. Oh, let's let's fix this one too. Okay, now, there's, I, I have so many stools inside of walls holding things up. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, uh, I need this thing out of my way, because I can't see where I'm putting that. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Now we can see. All right, I don't want to go in too, too far. I want to go in just far enough that the you don't see that shelf through the bottom part. Wish my head wasn't in the way. See, now that I like better. With the shelf coming up to the edge but not eclipsing the front, that looks better. Yo, I like it. Uh, big boy carpet. Let's get fuzzy all up in the fire. That's that's totally what we want. Um, 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 um. Let me go right up to it. That's all right. Okay, so now, now that we got shells, I'll definitely put some stuff up on top of that too. 
We definitely need a little sideboard something here to nook this in some. You need to move. Um, you're both in my way. Let's do... Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, I could put that thing back again. Here, let's put that thing back. Sword on the wall. Shit, I could do it. See, okay, there's another thing I want. Not only do we have a shield and we got the sword, when are we going to get shield and sword? You know, the crossing swords on the, with the shield on one stand? When are we going to get that? I could probably make it work if I layered stuff well enough, but boy, it would be a, it'd be a pain. What did I come over here for? The sideboard thingy. Oh, it's in my backpack. So now I can put this thing back and have more books. I, I'm betting I could do it, that I could get it figured out. Alright, so now... We're going to kind of have a little... Little yonder, right there. I want something to block this a little bit. Um, I don't want to block block it, but I, I want to create a little bit of space here. Nope, don't like it. Alright, let's try the regular size. I have a feeling I'm not going to like it either. It's too, it's getting too blocky. I don't like it. Okay. What can we put? I want something there, but that's not what I want. And I don't want to just jam it with chairs either, because I think that's a cheap way to, to get out of it. Okay. There's one thing I can do. In fact... Okay, so there's... Hmm. I wish that was one block higher. I could make it a block higher. Make it go higher to the ceiling. Let's do that, because I, I want that right there. So let's change this whole thing to fit one item I placed on the ground. <laughs> uh... All right, and I'm changing it for the other side, too, aren't I? Damn it. No, I don't have to do that. Because all I have to do... A chair and a plant. Oh, I forgot about plants, man! I totally forgot about plants. Yes, potted plants. <laughs> how the hell did I forget? I As much as I build, I don't know how I forget about half the stuff I forget about. Oh, right, because I did it like this. There we go. That fixes that. But now I need the table to go in. Eh, we'd leave it there. Uh, yes, you're right. Potted plants. And actually, that might that might just be that thing. That, that je ne sais quoi that we're looking for uh, to finish that space out. Let's go. Let's go take a look. Plant and a candlestick thingy. I do think it needs another candlestick for sure. I got... Uh, these are the... Uh, 
These are all the little ones. This one isn't too little. Let's see what we think about that. Yeah, I do need the round big ones. I don't remember any of these being that big. It's been a while. Yeah, none of these are big. Big with a few littles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, were these bigger? Not really. I mean, it's bigger than that. Do 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 do. What do we got? Grass isn't gonna work. I can plant something. Uh, yuck is way too big. Let's go look at the actual. Okay, here. What do I want to plant it in? Let's go look at something I can plant in, and we will. Uh, we'll see what we can put out there. I think flowers is better. You find something I can plant in. Black cauldron. We'll plant in that. Yeah. Yep. I could put a barrel. Uh, too small. Trees. Pretty. Okay. I like pretty. Let's do indigo or sage. Let's do sage. Take two of them in case I mess it up. Alright, now I need to get some dirt. Not equip. Let's do four in case I mess that up. Right, so first let's stage this and see what we think. So, about like that. So about like about like right there. I need to see where the <clears throat> where the dirt's gonna go. Okay, so it's gonna go right on the in front of that. Right in front of that. Okay. Okay, there's our dirt. Will it, will it angle a little bit? Because that'd be cool. Is it going to take? I think it's going to take. Alright. What happened? There we go. I'm going to have to wait till it's grown before I can stick this over it. Dang it. If I remember right, until it's grown, you can't do this. I might be wrong. Nope, yep. Yeah, you have to wait till it's grown. Okay. All right. All 
All right, let's just stick this next to it. We know we want to put it there once it's grown, but I need to get, oh, you know what I could do? I know what I can do. Get off of my screen. Eh, it's still not going to work while that dirt's there. No, no. No, no. It's not what I want. I want the shelf. <laughs> Damn it. I had to do that. I had to press my luck. No. No. Thank you. There we go. Alright, I guess we're just waiting. Once that's grown, we should be able to remove the dirt and put this thing back. That's fine. That's alright. So that's one thing. So then, up, if we're going to do the potted plant, we could do a chair right next to it. I can dig that. Except I think I might go for a better quality chair. You know, one that has some padding or something. Maybe. Kind of... Kind of that jobby. Starting to starting to nook it out. Ooh, a light. A light. Hmm. Probably should have done the light before I did the plant, huh? I could always do the light afterwards. I forgot to grab another one, didn't I? Uh, yep, I sure did. Let's go grab some more. Uh, I just realized something else we could do, too. Um, we can put in... Fire Gardens. We can find something that we want to use, uh, sink it against the wall or something, and put in flowers that we grow right against it. I mean, we can do the ones that are already pre-made, too, but that will work as well. And a candlestick. Okay. So we got candlestick. That looks nice. We got a bunch of book space. We got some upper space for knickknacks. We got a wall thing for, uh,. I want to go check out... Okay. I'm getting... It's pr pretty much coming to the end of the stream, but I want to check out before we actually close it out. I want to see if I can layer a sword and a shield. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. There's that one. But that one's from the ground, not from the wall. That's this one, right? No. No. sword and shield rack. Two. Four. Okay, so, 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 so. Let's do, let's do some blue. Get some blue going. Wonder how that would look. 
I mean, it matches, but I don't know how it would, how it would look sticking out. We can try it. Because otherwise we do... Oh, I can't, I can't, because I don't have backspace. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Because I don't actually know. So, shield... Let's try these. It kind of occludes it. It kind of doesn't work with that shield. I mean, having the same shield as what the weapons are, the design, doesn't really work. So then let's put... Nope. Put these two jobbies back. Grab one of these. Hmm. For right now, let's try one. Let's see what... Because I don't even know how easily I'm going to be able to get it up there. with the shelf being right below it. That might be a problem. Yeah, I don't think there's a might about it that is going to be a problem. Here, you know, I need to get something so I can go up in the er. Okay. Uh, there. So, we had this this way. It's sitting on the shelf. I don't know how well this is going to look. What the hell? I'm dumb. I mean, I don't hate it. It's on a stand, but I think it still works. And then we do the other stand over here. And we do... Okay. Slip and slide. Woohoo! And then we do, like, um, fiery on that side. Let's go. Let's go grab something that's like fiery, or you know, uh, we'll call that ice and fire and ice. Something like that. Look better if the stand was not visible, but it, I. But that would mean better than what I. I can't because the stand is literally sitting on the the uh, shelf bracket the shelving unit oh I don't really have a we don't have anything that's fiery do we these are kinda goofy looking I wish we could put these on and when we did display these that they would do the the, the display that they do when you hit block the ghostly stuff. That, it would look so cool. I suppose this could work with fiery. Oh, go back to this side. Boy, the Nova sure is bright. And then we got the inflamed. Let's try both and let's see, see what we think. But you're not wrong. It would be better if you couldn't see the stand. That's why I think we need one that is just mounted to the wall that does exactly the same thing. Just take off the stand. Just give us a, it as a wall mount. Alright, so first let's try that with these. Alright, so 
I, I can certainly dig it. But let's see what it looks like with... Ooh, bright. They seem awful long. They look more fiery, though. They, you know, that kind of glow better. Alright, which do we think? Left or right? The Nova... Oh, yeah, no, that's true. Well, I can put various knickknacks up there to hide it, too. Alright, so do we like... In flame sword, which is left, or Nova sword, which is right. Okay, there's one for inflamed. What do you think, Jasper? I'm kind of thinking inflamed just because I think the Nova sword's too long. For this particular application, I think the Nova sword's too long. Both of the light, yeah, right. Good point. <laughs> well, I'm I'm certainly not done lighting the room by any stretch. I think I think we'll go with inflamed for now, and we can always always change it up. I might change the shield maybe, but the shield works okay. It's it's kind of fitting with uh, the hilt of uh, hilt or whatever whatever this portion right here is called. I think that's the hilt. All right, so we got the makings of a nook, a reading nook. Uh, we've got our little privacy screen, the bed, the bed headboard. We got that built up. The guard. It's called the guard. Okay. And then we got this push back, so we got enough space to have our our swanky big bathroom that is going to come down one step. And yeah, got some good progress done today. We are sitting at, what are we at now? Where's my timer? Three hours and eight minutes. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night. Uh, I do tend, I've said this before, I do tend to uh, do this every night around this time frame, so you're welcome to stop by again. We will not always be enshrouded, but I'm on an enshrouded kick because I'm so hyped for uh, Update 4 that I'm just kind of like, I must have enshrouded, I must have enshrouded. <laughs> I appreciate everybody coming. And Nina, I'll look at your save when I get a chance, if you've already posted it. But it'll, it won't be today, it'll be tomorrow. I'm going to be going to bed after this, so. Alright, thanks everybody for coming. Have a good night.